Rebecca at the Dry Eye Shop in Pulspa, Washington, and I just want to do a really super quick demo of the Pure Lens Plus Preservative Free Saline. So almost everything I'm about to say about Pure Lens is for scleral lens users because that's who our Dry Eye Shop customers tend to be. But there are other people buying Pure Lens for lots of other reasons, so just very briefly I want to speak to them. Um, people use Pure Lens Plus for soft lenses and even as an eye drop sometimes because it is preservative free and pH balanced. The one thing I want to say to you is do not keep these bottles around open longer than two weeks, please. It is preservative free. It will not stay good. You can put, even if you put it in your fridge, it should not be sitting there for week after week and month after month. Preservative free salines need to be tossed after the two week point. So Pure Lens Plus comes in two different sizes. We've got the four ounce full size bottles, which is what we normally use at home. And we got the little squatty two ounce bottles that are super handy for travel. That way you don't have to get in arguments with TSA agents about what's allowable for medical purposes under the medical exemption, etc. You don't have to have doctor's letter or anything like that. Uh, the two ounce ones are actually also really handy for just kind of purses and pockets and things like that. So the way Pure Lens Plus bottles work, if you ever used Unisol 4, it's almost identical, just little differences in the bottles. Uh, so a new bottle is going to look like this. It's got the cap, it's got the little white ring that prevents the bottle from being opened prematurely. Take the blue cap off, pull off the little white thing, stick the cap back on, screw it in nice and tight. That's going to puncture the bottle, make the opening to be able to squeeze it out of. In fact, you can use how hard you twist this in to kind of control the size of the hole too. If you turn it all the way, it's gonna make a bigger hole. If you don't, screw it all the way in, you can make a slightly smaller hole. And once it's open, it's gonna look something like that. And then you can squeeze it out, use it for all your lens rinsing, your lens filling, and so on. So how does this compare to the other preservative-free salines? It's the only bottled one. And for those of us who use a lot of saline, that really makes a difference. I go through a ton of saline myself and I do not like having to open vial after vial after vial. It starts feeling wasteful and it's just kind of a pain in the butt. So for lots of rinsing, so we've got, uh, you know, the moment I take my lenses out at night, I've got to wash them, clean them. Then I've got to rinse the cleaner off, then put them in the peroxide for overnight. In the morning, I take them back out. I want something to rinse them with before I put them in my eyes. And lastly, filling them to put them in my eyes and then refilling them to put them in again. If they get all icky and I need to take them out and refill them. And maybe for some people during the day, if they need to take them out and refill them again, it's handy for that as well. One note I want to make about filling lenses with Pure Lens. You really need to check in with your doctor about how long it's okay to use the same bottle for filling your lenses. Now, in general, on these bottles, you don't want to keep them open more than 15 days. It says so on the label, and it's something you really need to pay attention to. There are a lot of things on labels that you shouldn't have to care about. This is one that you should care about. It's a preservative-free product. It's only going to last so long. It may or may not last those 15 days. In terms of contamination, you do not want open Pure Lens bottles sitting around in your house everywhere. So once you've opened it, if you're not going to remember when that two week mark is, then take a Sharpie and write it down on one of the little white spots in the label so that you'll know. Now in terms of how long you can use it for filling the lenses, check in with your doctor, like I said, because they may feel differently about your use of it for filling than for rinsing. So the longer an unpreserved product sits around open, even though it's got a nice secure cap and all that, the higher the risk that it's going to get contaminated in some way. So when you're filling a scleral lens with a saline, that saline's getting hold, held against your eyes all day long. It's not like it just kind of uh, washes out in the first hour and gets replaced by your natural tears. It doesn't. It is sitting there. So you really do need to pay attention to the risk factor and make sure that your doctor is weighing in on that decision. For example, some doctors are totally fine with you using this bottle basically until it's gone within that 15 days, presumably. 
Others are going to want you using it for filling only for the first two or three days. And then they'll say, whatever's left over in the bottle, use that for rinsing, but don't fill your lenses with it. Open a new bottle or use a single-use vial. So that is really a medical decision. I just want to, to emphasize that. So why would somebody use Pure Lens Plus as opposed to one of the other salines? I'm going to encourage you to watch my other videos where I compare them because I get into a lot more detail on that. But I would say big picture, there's two reasons why an awful lot of people prefer Pure Lens. One is it's a pH balanced saline, so it is more comfortable on the eye than the straight sodium chloride ones, which are acidic. For a lot of people, they're fine, but an acidic saline sitting against your eye all day is not always great for everyone. The second reason is that it's just more economical than using lots and lots of vials. It's going, that's going to depend how much you use. Some people wear mini sclerals and they go through very little saline. They're using multi-purpose solutions. Fine, fair enough. For those of us who do use a lot of saline, Pure Lens Plus tends to be the preferred one.